Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're going to take a look at an add-on product for NinjaTrader called the 9G Trading Dome. So I'm just going to bring that up here. We are looking at the 9G Trading Dome, uh, again, which is a depth of market screen or a price ladder display where we can uh, take a look at the, the market, the uh, last traded price here, the market depth on either side. But we also have some other options. We can place orders. We can also view some more data than we would normally would be able to using a dome screen. For example, you can see session profile here on the right-hand side. You can see that uh, here. And we also have, of course, the standard three columns, so our price column, our ask, and our bid columns. Uh, but we also have a few other things here. So, for example, Q position. So at what uh, place my order is in uh, when I place it here. For example, if I place a limit order at 1835.50, I know that my Q position is now 1046 here. You can see the market depth at that area. And you can see that changes, but it'll keep our Q position. So we know kind of where we are at in relation to what's happening with the market depth. And it's actually, you can see, it's pretty easy to also place those orders. So for example, if I wanted to place a limit order, all I need to do is just mouse click here at 1835.50, and I have a limit order there. Now I can do the same here on the sell side. So for example, a sell limit order at 1839 and a quarter. All I need to do is left mouse click there at that price point here, and uh, we have that order now active. I can cancel that order just as quickly here and just as easily just by right mouse clicking. So uh, all I need to do again, just right mouse click on that tab there for the orders. It'll also uh, place stop orders for you just as easy. So for example, if I wanted to place a sell stop here at 1835 and three quarters, I just need to left mouse click. I don't have to middle mouse button click uh, or have a, a, a different um, hotkey necessarily for my keyboard to place a stop order versus a limit order. Um, 9G intelligently knows that since we're below the market price here, but we're placing it on the sell side, it needs to be a stop order instead of a limit order. So it makes it quick uh, to uh, go ahead and place those orders without having to um, kind of decipher that beforehand. So for again, all you need to do to place a stop order is just click at that price point on the side that I want to. So for example, the bid side for a buy order, the uh, ask side for a sell order, for example, a sell limit order. And you can see that change that as well. So it intelligently knows that um, those orders kind of uh, cancel each other out there. So it makes it really easy. Now, another thing you can do pretty easily here on 9G is set your uh, order quantity. Of course, we have some quick buttons here. So one, two, five, and 10, and those will change our order quantity for us. But I can also just click a number key on my keyboard. So for example, I could choose eight on my keyboard. And I'm just clicking on my eight key on my keyboard. If I uh, click five here, it will go ahead and change that to five. So not only can I place these orders pretty quickly, I can also set my quantity pretty quickly without having to go through any uh, specific menus or even a drop down menu. Um, of course, I can use these, and these are customizable, these different buttons here. But I can also just choose that on my keyboard. For example, three there, and my uh, quantity did just change. And you can see that changing here in the upper right hand corner. So one, two, three, again, just very quick in the way that works. We also have uh, buy market and sell market options here just at the top. So for example, I can sell market, you'll see I'm now negative one. Uh, and you also see my PNL here um, showing kind of where I am uh, in the market here. So you can see now I'm down about a quarter and now I'm back flat here. I can also uh, just close that out here by selecting buy at market there. Now, for example, say I was uh, in the market here and I had, uh, for example, a sell limit order here at the 1839 and a half area. And uh, I wanted to go ahead and also uh, place a sell stop. So I'll go ahead and place that here as well. Now, uh, I decided I wanted to go ahead and cancel those pending orders, but I didn't want to get out of the market. All I need to do is click on this X button. This is going to cancel all, but you see I'm still in the market. Now, we can do the same thing. Uh, for example, I'll go ahead and place some orders there and get out of the market by using that flatten all button here. So everything that we need here for immediate trading is uh, is immediately available using this toolbar or just using a simple click function. We also have the option to choose ATM strategies. So you see this drop down menu allows me to go ahead and select uh, an ATM strategy. I can now use that ATM strategy. So you see I just bought market and that ATM strategy did deploy. So now if I were to go ahead and cancel that, uh, those are OCO orders, so it'll cancel out. And uh, you see I do have that there. Now there is also a uh, OCO functionality that we can use here. So for example, I want to 
place uh, some OCO orders. I'll go ahead and say, uh, for example, I want to um, buy here if the market goes uh, at 18.39 and a quarter or above, but I want to sell here if it goes uh, below 18.36 uh, or it hits that price point. Um, so now those are uh, OCO orders. So if I cancel one, it's going to cancel the other. Not only can we do all of that here, in addition to customizing these columns, these columns again are just columns that I've set up, but we can also have multiple instruments here on one dome. So if you take a look, I actually have this active currently. So we have the ES, but if I switch over to the NQ, you see that that is tabbed. So now we're taking a look at the NASDAQ in addition to the ES if I just wanna switch back. Of course, you can have multiple uh, trading domes open side by side uh, if you wanted to, but you can also tab them in here for easy uh, reference here, just using this bottom menu uh, here. So that makes it pretty easy. That's just kind of a quick primer here on the 9G trading dome. There's really a lot you can do with it. It's really quick uh, in the way that it interacts with you. Um, again, using that quick quantity select by just using the keyboard, simple right left mouse clicks for placing orders, uh, canceling orders, also having those ATM strategies available, as well as tabbed uh, browsing here for the different instruments. There's also a lot more, so we're going to have some more of these videos, but thank you for joining me for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to let us know.